Boy, it was a great song. Amen? Believe that more. <laughs> Alam nyo, mga kapatid, pag uh, pinagbulay-bulayan natin isang awitin na ganyan, uh, you wouldn't believe it, you know. The God of heaven, the Son, the only begotten Son of God, came down to save you and me. It's personal, mga kapatid. Personal. Man. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, yun na lamang pong pagising natin sa umaga, isipin natin na nasa atin ang salita ng Diyos. <laughs> that is something, mga kapatid. Something. Okay? That's unbelievable. No. All right. Shall we all stand, please, and turn your Bibles, please, in the book of Jude. The book of Jude. Jude chapter 1 or chapter 10, iisa lamang po yan. Jude verse number 3, pero simulan po natin sa verse number 1. All right, are you with me now? Is everybody here now? Kayo nasa likod? All right, let me hear you. Kayo nasa likod? All right, kayo nasa taas? Amen, amen. Salamat sa pitong boses na yan. All right. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Here's the reason. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, to understand this passage, brethren, kinakailang makita niyo po kung bakit sinulat ni Jude at para kanino. Uh, back in those days, mga patid, of course, sinulat ito sa lahat. This is what we call the general epistles. No? And, uh, but particularly, he was referring to the Christians in, uh, in Jerusalem and also some other churches na nagkakaroon po ng problema sa heresy. Na po, ibig sabihin, nag, nagkakaroon ng problema sa iba't ibang paniniwala. And so, si Jude po ang sabi ni Jude dito, sabi niya, kung mapapansin niyo sa verse number 3, and I want you to look at it para maguhitan niyo po, mga kapatid. Jepin, may, may, may ballpen po tayo, amen? All right. Now, kung meron kayong red pen, mas maganda matandaan nyo po ito. Sabi niya, Beloved, when I, give, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the, number one, common salvation. Yan po ang unang sulat ni Jude sa kanila. Alright? Sa mga kapatiran, mga kapatid. Ano po yun? Common salvation. I mean, I'm talking about salvation. Nakatulad po ang tinaga po natin, mga kapatid. You see, no doubt, there's no doubt, no? Wala na pong duda sa kanila, sa mga sinulatan ni James, na ang kaligtasan ay na kay Kristo Jesus lamang. Pero may sinabi pa si James na isa, you see, na hindi po, na hindi pa po, uh, na hindi po pwedeng hindi gagawin ni James. Hindi po pwedeng hindi susulat po si James. Notice what the Bible says here. It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith. You see that? So the, 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 the first letter was about salvation. The second letter is about holding and fighting for the faith. You see, now you, you underline the word contend. It means to strive against. Hindi again. Against. To fight against. You see? So uh, the, uh, 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 Jude was saying, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Now, the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Paano po? Now, 
back in those days, kapatid, wala pong pagkakaiba. It was through the preaching of the Word of God that people have faith in God. Alright? Now, kaya po sila nagkaroon ng pananampalatay sa Panginoon because somebody preached the Word of God. Remember what the Bible says? Ano sabi ng Biblia? Faith cometh by? Say louder. Hearing and hearing by the? That's it. That's where we get faith. The more you hear, the more you believe, the more you accept, the more you receive the Word of God, the greater faith you have. Are you with me? Now listen, pag, pag, pag tignan niyo po mabuti mga potet, nakakalungkot po ngayon, napakaraming simbahan po ngayon mga potet. Maraming mga tao po, pasok sa simbahan, natutulog lamang, hindi nakikinig, kaya wala po silang pananampalataya. If you want to move mountain, you do not ask God that moment to, for, to ask God to please move this mountain. No, you have to move the mountain based on your faith. Lahat po ng ginagawa natin sa buhay natin ngayon ay bunga ho yan ng ating pananampalataya. At ang ating pananampalataya ay bunga ho yan ng pagtanggap natin sa salita ng Diyos. See that? Now, listen. Uh, sabi ni, po, ni, 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 ni Jude po rito, sabi niya, It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you. Kinakailang i-push ko kayo. Kinakailangan i-encourage ko kayo, kinakalang, there must be some, something in your, within you that is a flaming that na, na, kinakailangang mag-umapoy para kayo ay makipaglaban. You see that? So, na, na, kita nyo mo pa din, it is not enough to get saved. You've got to fight for your faith. So, the title of this message is Content for the Faith. Content for the faith. Tayo po yung sinali manalangin. The Kilang Diyos, salamat po sa inyong salita. Oh God, give me the power. Give me, oh God, the, 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 uh, the strength uh, to, to, to preach your word this morning. Alam niyo po ang aking limitations. Alam niyo po, Panginoon, ang aking uh, uh, um, burden for your people, oh God. And thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving your Son, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Now help us to understand, O oh God, that we should not be satisfied. We should not be contented by the salvation that we have right now. But there must be something within us that will push us to contend for the faith. We really need this, O oh God. So please, encourage your people this morning. Hamunin niyo po ang bawat isa. Nakikiusap po ako, Panginoon, sa pangalan po ni Jesus. Amen. All right, thank you. You may be seated. Now, there is a passage in the book of 1 Corinthians and I want you to, I want you to open your Bibles. Mga pati, doon sa passage na yan. Kasi gusto ko pong maunawaan nyo na ang buhay ng Kristiyano ay hindi laro. Now, everybody look at this way. Hindi rin po, gusto ko rin pong mailagay sa isipan ninyo na ang preaching, kapatid, ay hindi suggestion. At hindi, po, hindi rin po ito exhibition. Hindi po ito panahon na ang preacher ay magpapakita ng kanyang galing at mag entertain ng maraming taga, na, tagapakinig. No. There, this is a serious matter. Every time I get up to this pulpit and preach and give to you the Word of God, it's the best time, mga putin, for you to listen because that is where you are getting, that's the time that you are getting your faith. And that's the chance that you can make your faith stronger and bigger. Amen. All right, First Corinthians chapter four, ch chapter two, please. Verse number four. Every time na aakit po ako sa pulpito, hindi po pwede hindi ko huto basahin. Sabi ko sa pagkain sabi sabi ni Paul dito mga patid, And my speech and my what preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. What's the purpose? That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Man, I'm telling you, ito po yung napaka-powerful na statement ni Paul. You see, alam niyo mga patid kung anong, ang, ang problema, if we're looking at the way now, tapos na po yung pinasa po natin. Alam niyo ang problema ng maraming kristyano ngayon, ang kanilang pananampalataya ay nakasandal sa galing ng tao at hindi sa kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. You know, every time we listen to the preaching of the Word of God, I want the Holy Spirit to move in the midst of God and I want the Holy Spirit to speak to your hearts and I want you to live 
it for him and not for me. And your faith must be based on the power of the Holy Spirit and not on the power of men. Not in the power of the wisdom of men, but in the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Allow him, allow the Holy Spirit this morning to demonstrate his power in your heart this morning. Amen. Now, back to the book of Jude, mga kapatid. Makikita po natin dito na sabi ng Biblia, we have something to fight, sabi ni Jude. We have something to fight. Listen, is there anybody here that could raise your hands? Makapagtas po kayo ng kamay ng ibig sabihin, Pastor, 100%. I know I'm saved. I know I'm going to heaven when I die. 100%. Tinanggap ko ng Panginoong Isu Kristo bilang sarili kong tagapagligtas. Raise your hands, please. Higher, higher, higher. All right. I hope walang nagagaya mga patid. All right. Listen, thank you, thank you. God bless you because we are all saved. Amen. Not by religion, kapatid. Hindi sa pamagitan ng reliyon, kundi sa pamagitan ng pagtanggap natin sa Panginoong Iso Kristo bilang sarili nating tagapagligtas. There is none other name under heaven whereby a man can be saved other than the name Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Alright. Salamat sa Panginoon. Yan po ang aking tinanggap. Yan din ang iyong tinanggap. But listen to me now. It is not enough. As far as salvation is concerned, that's enough. As far as assurance of heaven is concerned, that's enough. But Christian life, do not just rest on getting saved or being saved. You've got to fight for what you believe. Because here's what the Bible says. Back in those times, na ang heresy po ay grabe. Ngayon, ang nakikita ko po ngayon, grabe na rin. Grabe po ngayon ang heresy. Grabe ngayon. Pinalalambot ngayon ng mga pinalalambot po ngayon ng sistema ng mundo ang ating pananampalataya. Pinalalambot na parabang sinasabi nila it is not enough to listen to one person, one source of faith. You see, so napakarami po mga tao na nagbabahagi na this is good also, this is good. But Oh, it's true, mga patid. Maraming seemingly good. Pero ang ibig, hindi po ang ibig sabihin po nung tama yun. As far as God is concerned, as far as uh, 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 godly living is concerned, there's only and there's only one, there must only one source of our faith, mga patid, no other than the Word of God. And so here's Jude, what, what Jude said. Ang sabi ni Jude, it was needful for me to write unto you. What? And exhort you that she should earnestly contend for the faith. Contend. To fight against. To fight against. Alam niyo nakakalungkot po ngayon mga kapatid. Parang ang pananampalataya ay hindi po karapat dapat ipaglaban. Para bang ang feeling na maraming kristyano, why do you need to fight? Bakit kinakailangan, you know, natatakot silang magkahiwalay sila na magkaibigan, natatakot silang magka, mapalayo sa pamilya, mapalayo sa mga close, closest friends nila, because, uh, you, you know, the, the world will tell you na para parehas lamang yan, may common ground tayo, hanapin natin yung common ground natin. Listen, marami ngayon nakakapagtaka, kaya nga marami mga magkakaibigan, alam nila kung anong ginagawa ng kalang, kalang, kalang kaibigan at alam nilang kontra sila sa, kalang, sa ginagawa ng kalang kaibigan pero hindi nila magawang magkapaghiwalay. Now what is amazing to me right now, listen to me, everybody look at this, uh, this way, heads up mga kapatid. What is amazing to me right now, right now, is marami mga kristyano na hindi na nila kayang ipaglaban ang kanilang pananampalataya, so they are quitting their church. They're quitting coming to church. They're quitting, uh, they're quitting reading their Bible. They quit gi giving. They quit everything. At the activities of church, hindi na po sila nag involved sa gawain ng Panginoon. Bakit? Ang rason po nila, hindi namin kaya ang standard, and ang, ang, ang rason nila ay pangit po. Hindi, hindi nila kayang ipagtanggol. And some of them are just offended. Are you with me? You see, konting bagay lamang mga kapatid, no offend na sila. Alam niyo kung anong problema mga kapatid? Listen to me now. Kung ang pananampalataya niyo ay ganito nga lamang magkakatiting mga kapatid, paano mo ipaglalaban yan? 
sapagkat kung pananampalataya mo ay napakaliit, hindi mo maikita yung kagandahan ng pananampalataya mo. And because of that, you will not fight for it. Ano mang mahalaga sa iyo, kapatid, ipaglalaban mo. Pero kung ang alam mo, ang pananampalataya mo ay konti lamang, paano magiging mahalaga yan? At kung hindi yan mahalaga sa iyo, hindi mo paglalaban yan. You have your phone, right? Yeah. Yung iba sa inyo iPhone, yung iba ay Oppo, yung iba ay Samsung, yung iba ay ma mahalaga, you know? And, but you know what? Pag inagaw sa iyo ito ng snatcher, aagawin mo, hindi mo ibibigay. Pag itaan ka ng kutsilyo, sasalagin mo, o, o, a, a, tatanggapin mo yung kapahamakan, sasagupangin mo yung kapahamakan because you don't want to give up. You don't want to give up your phone. Let me tell you something. Sino dito sa ating kalagitnaan sa umagang ito na sinuong ninyo ang kamatayan sapagat ayaw nyo i-give up ang inyong pananampalataya? The reason why it's, it's easy for us to give up, uh, give up our faith, mga kapatid, it is because we only have little faith. The Lord, God, requires us the great faith. Great faith. There's only one personal na sinabihan ng Panginoon na great faith. Remember that in the book of Matthew chapter 8? Yeah. See that? Dakila ang kanyang pananampalataya ng sabi ng Panginoon, hindi ko pa nakita ang ganitong klaseng pananampalataya sa Israel. See that? You try to open that, not this time, when you get home. Chapter 8, beginning from verse number 5 down to verse number 10. Makikita niyo kung sino yan. But you listen to me now. Ang problema po natin ngayon, maraming konting bagay lamang kapatid na u-offend yung kristyano, nawawala sa gawain, iiwanan ang Biblia, iiwanan ang church, iiwanan ang kakapatiran, iiwanan ang preaching ng salita ng Diyos. You see, at nagtataka siya, bakit madali siyang ma-offend, at nagtataka siya, bakit wala na sa church? Because he never tried to fight for their faith. What is amazing to me is this, tingnan niyo mabuti ha, sino man sa inyo, na may pinapaburan kayong team, basketball team, team, ball games, uh, team, at ano pa mang fraternity, you know? Ang papangit na ng team ninyo, nang dadaya na. Paborito nyo si Lebron. Uh, sino pa? Chica. Huwag kang makialam. Alright, now listen. Marami ho kayo mga paborito. And then, nasa, nasa, nasa fraternity po kayo. Mga gang, mga ganun, gangsters yung iba sa inyo. But listen to me now. Alam niyong may kalukohan sa inyong grupo. Alam niyong uh, grabe na ang kasalanan ng grupo ninyo. Alam niyong hindi tama ang ginagawa. But you know what? You don't give up your, 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 your team. Nandaya na si Lebron lahat-lahat. Nandaya na yung prayer ninyo lahat-lahat. Nag-cheer pa rin kayo. So nakakapagtaka sa church, kunti lamang na diferensya, iiwanan nyo ang iyong simbahan, iiwanan nyo pagbabasa ng Biblia, iiwanan ninyo ang lugar na kung saan dinadala nyo ang inyong pamilya. That is amazing to me. Kunti problema lang. Pero yung inyong team, ayaw nyo i-give up. Somebody's listening to me. Yeah, that's a problem, brethren. See that? Now, sabi ko mga kapatid, ilan na lamang po ngayon mga kapatid ang nakipag-contend for the faith? It is very important to contend for the faith because everything, if you are a Christian right now, if your mind is open to this word, to the word of God, kapatid, hasabihin ko po sa inyo at tatanggapin niyo sa umagang ito na ang inyong buhay ay nakasalalay sa salita ng Diyos. It's not about me. It's not about the church. It's about the word of God. It is about where the word of God is being proclaimed and explained and exhorts. See? Now, kapatid, dapat maging maliwanag po sa atin kung bakit natin dapat ipaglaban natin si Bahan. See that? So, sabi ni, sabi ni, uh, uh, ni, 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 ni Jude, exhort you when I need to exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered Unto you. Now, let me ask you first. 
Karapat dapat bang ipaglaban ang iyong pananapalataya? <laughs> Naalala ko po, sabi ng iba, bibili lang ako ng cellphone na yung mumurahin, yung ano tayo no? Yung walang, walang camera, walang, yung, ha? Kipad, yeah. Bibili lang. Para pag inagaw sa akin, isa sa akin, pabayaan ko na lang yan. Sabi ko, bakit? Mumurahin eh. Sometimes, kapatid, ginagaya natin ang ating pananampalataya sa cellphone. Okay lang na agawin sa atin, okay lang na murahin, o okay lang na kutsain yung pananampalataya natin kasi mura lang eh. Bakit? Yung pananampalataya mo pa lamang ay ganito. Kaya okay lang na mawala. Now, do you understand kung bakit maraming mga kristyano hindi nagpapahalaga sa simbahan? Hindi nagpapahalaga sa salita ng Diyos? I don't know kung ilang beses niyo po binubuksan ang Biblia niyo sa loob ng isang linggo. Huwag naman po sana mangyari mga kapatid na bubuksan niyo lamang inyong Biblia pag araw ng linggo. I don't know kung ilan sa atin dito ang nananalangin mga kapatid ng tatlong beses sa loob ng isang araw. Kaya ako sinabing tatlong beses kasi siyempre kumakain kayo ng tatlong beses sa isang araw. At least sa panalangin, sa kain, nakapag-pray kayo, naalala nyo ang Diyos. Talk to me. Yeah. Ilan sa atin dito mga patid ang nagmamadaling magising ng Sunday morning sapagat alam nyo may service tayo ng Sunday morning kahit pagod kayo ng Saturday evening. Now listen, lahat ng mga bagay na yan nakasalalay po yan sa inyong pananampalataya. Pananampalataya. Life is what you believe. Or you're missing the point. Life is what you believe. And if life is what you believe, the future of your family lies on what you believe. I hope nakukuha niyo po ito mga kapatid. Alright? So kaya gano'n na lamang po sinasabi ni Jude. Kapatid, look at this. Ini-imagine ko po mabuti. Gano'n po ako pag nag-aaral. Bakit gano'n na lamang katindi sabihin ni Jude? Hindi ho naglalaro si Jude dito. Mga kapatid, hindi po away bata ito. Nung sinabi ni Jude na, Alright, you contend for the faith. Hindi po ito away bata. Matinding away po ito na ipaglalaban mo, kapatid. Ipaglalaban mo. Kasi look, kasama natin ang Panginoon. Imagine kung sino ang nag nagbigay nung pananampalataya. Diyos. Diyos. Nagsimula ho yan nung tayo maligtas. For by grace are ye saved through. And that's not of yourselves. It is the what? Gift of God. See that? Galing po yan sa Diyos. And then napakahalaga po na yan natanggap po natin. And now, ang gusto mangyari ng Panginoon, mamuhay tayo ayon sa pananapalataya. If you, na, if you do not live by faith, you cannot make it in the ministry. Because ministry is all about faith. Ministry is all about faith. Now, why is this important? Okay? Now, you turn your Bibles, please, in the book of Matthew, chapter 16. Matthew, chapter 16. Here's what the Bible says in verse number 18. Very familiar passage. All right? Ano sabi po ng Biblia? And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the what? The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, listen to me now. Gates of hell is not a weapon, but it is a fortification. It is a building. It is a structure, kapatid. Okay? Now, listen. Ang gates of hell, ang sabi ko na ang gates of hell, ito po kung saan dinadala at pinoprotektahan yung mga nasa loob para hindi makalabas. Okay? Pinapapasok at inaabang, uh, 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 binablakan para hindi makalabas. Now listen to me now. Study carefully. Tayo po ay nasa simula ho ng magkasala si Adan at si Eva. Napunta po tayo sa pamilya ng Diablo. As by one man sin entered into the world, so death passed upon all men for all have sinned. Connect mo yun sa John 8, 44. 
tumbok po yan, mga kapatid. Tama po yan. Alright? So we all belong to the family of the devil. Now let me illustrate. Okay, Brad, pwede ba ako makahiram sa inyo? Kayong, kayong tatlo. Alright. Kayong tatlo. Dito kayo. Dagdagan mo na rin. Apat kayo. Dito kayo, dito kayo. Okay. Alright. Nung ang tao po nagkaasala mo, batid, di nila po tayo dito sa pamilya ng Diablo. And listen, they are luck. Nandiyan po yung gates. Ayaw ng Diablo na makalabas na sila. Alright? Now listen to me now. They will not attack. Wala hong gates na kwento sa Biblia na nag-atake ng kampo ng Diyos. Wala. Wala. <coughs> May matapang sa kanila. Handang makipaglaban. <clears throat> But you listen to me now. So, mula sa pamilya ng, ng, ng Diyos, sa, from the creation, nagkasala, nandito po sila sa kampo sa pamilya ng Diablo. Alright? Now, you listen to me now. Imagine this morning, ng isa sa membro sa kanila, isa sa kanila ay membro ng pamilya nyo. Listen, the church is tasked to attack the gates of hell. And you are a member of the church. Are you following me? You are a member of the church. You are a part of the body of Christ. The only institution in this earth, brethren, that will and task to attack the gates of hell is the church. Look at this. From the very foundation of the church, the church is designed to attack the, the gates of hell. Even the gates of hell. Look. I say also unto thee that thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Wala nang institution na tinayo ang Panginoon o tinayo sa ibabaw ng lupang ito na pwedeng mag-succeed sa pag-atake po sa gates of hell. Are you listening to me? Now, listen, this is very important. Ngayon, kapatid, imagine ang jablo po ay tuloy-tuloy na kinukulong sa kanyang kampo ang mga tao ngayon. See that? Why? The devil is attacking the world by, 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 by letting the world know in convincing the world na ang source, kapatid, ng information ay hindi lamang iisa. Yeah, hindi lamang ho nanggagaling sa Bible at hindi lamang po inspire ang Bible, kundi meron pang iba. Alam nyo, kung naalala nyo po mga patid, si Michael Angelo. Si Michael Angelo po mga patid, this is just para malaman nyo po ang gender identity problem. Lahat po tignan nyo kung ano yung mga nag encourage po sa kanila. Kung bakit merong ganito? Kung bakit merong mga naniniwala na uh, uh, hindi lamang po dapat paniwalaan ang sinasabi ng Biblia as far as gender identity is concerned. May ibang source na may rason din naman at mukhang tama din naman. See that? Now, you understand si Michael Angelo, Angelo si Michael Angelo mga patid, was a gifted artist. Yeah, very, alam niyo po yan, back in the 1500s. Now, uh, pagka kayo po ay nag, nag, uh, uh, ano ta, nag-explore at uh, pumunta po kayo doon sa Sistine Chapel, sa Sistine Chapel mga patid, nandoon ang isa sa pinakang famous na arts ni, uh, ni, uh, ni Michelangelo. Yeah. Anybody knows that? Yeah, subukan niyo po yan. I, 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 uh, it, I, tipaw niyo po yan. Alright? So, nandun po si Sistine Chapel na yun, yung isa sa mga popular, pinaka-famous na, na art po ni, uh, ni uh, Michelangelo. Pero makikita niyo po doon, pag tumingala kayo ng gano'n, makikita niyo po yung lahat ng istorya ng Biblia nandun doon. Halos, kapatid. 
Ah, uh, sinasabi ng Biblia, and then stories of the Bible, lahat halos ng mga creation na doon mga kapatid. Ipinapakita po yan doon ni Michelangelo. Pero mga kapatid, hindi lamang po yun ang makikita niyo po doon mga kapatid. Ma, you can also find the oracles and it's not to say it's a feminine oracles. Okay? A feminine oracles, mga kapatid. They are around the ceiling mixed in with the Bible representation. You see, habang nandudoon yung Bible representations, kapatid, nandudoon naman yun tinatawag na feminine oracles. You see, it's pagan. It's a pagan oracles mixed in the Bible stories. Are you familiar with the Delphi uh, uh, oracle? It means itong taong ito, Etong etong oracle na ito mapatid, ito po yung ini-inspire din ng Dios. Ang Dios ay nagsasalita sa kanya. Which is kapatid, yan po ngayon ang uso sa buong mundo. May bigla na lamang lalabas na magsasabing ang Dios ay nagsalita sa akin. Now, what is our stand on that? Ang position po natin pagdating sa bagay na yan, naniniwala po tayo that the Bible is the complete revelation of God to men. Labas po sa Biblia, wala na at hindi na po yan revelation ng Diyos. If it is not in the Bible, that's not of God. Are you with me? If it is not in the Bible, that's not of God. So what did Michael Angelo did? Is he paid respect for the knowledge and, and respect of the ancient Greek, Romans, and other cultures involved with it. You see? And here, here's the thing. He gave respect to them. Bakit po? Because the idea is, hindi o oh, meron po, meron pang ibang in-inspire para magbigay ng magandang salita na dapat paniwalaan ng napakaraming tao. Yan po yung idea, mga patid. And listen, they want as or they want the whole world to buy that idea. So, same thing happened, same thing happened in Constantinople, if you can, if you will also, if you're, man, I love history. You know, ang gusto gusto ko pagka ako po yung nag-aaral, mga patid. Ito naman pong Constantinople, mga patid. Noong si Constantine ang naging emperor, mga patid, ay binago niya rin po yung pangalan from Byzantium, Byzantium to Constantinople na ang ibig sabihin po niyan ay the city of Constantine. Okay? At doon po mga patid, sa Constantinople mga patid, Constantine, he built a huge chapel and named it Hagias, Hagias Sophia. Okay? Anong ibig sabihin po ng Hagias? Hagios in the Greek word means holy, holy. But the word Sophia is a feminine name. Holy woman. Yan po ang ibig sabihin po niyan. Sophia is a girl's name of Greek origin meaning wisdom. And it was the name of a Roman saint. Uh, the mother of faith, hope, and charity. At inadapt din po yan sa Russia na ginawa naman po nilang Sonia. Kaya kung ang pangalan nyo ay Sonia, ibig sabihin, you are a mother of faith. In opposite with Abraham, the father of faith. Somebody's following me? Now, ano po ang hinahanap po natin dito ang ex, mga kapatid? Yung gender identity. Okay? Babalikan ko po yan mamaya. Just keep tuning. Amen. Now, so, sa, uh, yung salitang Sonia sa Sa, sa Russia, yun po ay Sophia. Yan po ang translation po nila. Okay? Now, what's going on here, it is the same thinking that was involved with Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel where you have a mixture of inspiration. You got inspiration coming to the scriptures and you got inspirations coming to the, the poets, to the prophets, and to the prophetess. Now, in other words, mga kapatid, God is speaking through more than one source. And that is exactly what they are doing today. 
Listen, God is speaking to us through His Word. Wala na pong iba, mga kapatid. You see that? Now, ang Diyos, kapatid, ay hindi po yan tatayo sa ating harapan at magbibigay sa atin ng, 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 ng salita at magsasama siya po rito na magdidepend siya sa kanyang sinasabi. Remember that God alone can defend itself. The Word of God can defend itself. Hindi na po kinakailangan ng Biblia, ng salita ng Diyos, ng ano pa mang mga katulong para mat- mapatunayan na tama talaga ang salita ng Diyos. Now you, you, you better take this. If you believe the Bible, you're blessed. If you don't believe the Bible, you're cursed. Hindi o ang ibig ko sabihin kailanman hindi malulugi ang Diyos kung hindi mo paniniwalaan ang salita ng Diyos. Walang mawawala at mababawa sa Diyos kung hindi ka maniniwala sa Diyos. You see that? Now, so the Word is trying to put this in your mind and say, let's leave the old fashion and let's move on. You see that? What's that? Referring to the Bible. Let's move on. Umalis na tayo dyan. Pagka Bible lang tayo ng Bible, hindi tayo makamove on. Move on to where? That's my question. Where? If you're going to, you, you, you mean progress? Where? What? Ano progreso na tinutukoy po ng mga tao po ngayon, ng mga modern na tao ngayon, apart from the Word of God? You see? You, yung drugs? You call it progress? Huh? What else? Yung, yung, yung immorality, yung mga, yung mga, mga punit-punit na damit, that is what you call move on. Kapatid, sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung mga punit-punit na yan, hindi na tinatanggap sa probinsya, tinatapo na yan. Sa Maynila lang, mabenta yan. Yeah. Kaya minsan, ina-admire ko pa yung mga taga-probinsya na naiya magsuot ng mga hubad na damit, mga kapatid, kaysa mga taga-Maynila na binibili ng mas mahal kaysa mga tamang pang- ba- mga-, mga damit. I hope you're listening to me. Now, ano po ngayon ang problema? Oh, here's, the, here's the thing, okay? Now, sabi ko sa inyo, maaaring isa rito ay anak mo. O maaaring isa rito ay membro ng pamilya. Nasaan sila? Nasa loob ng gates of hell. Alright? Nasa loob ng gates of hell. Now, nilak sila ng jablo para hindi sila, sila lumabas. Huwag mong hintayin na lalabas ito. Bakit? Hindi makakalabas yan. Hindi a-attack ang gates of hell. Ang church was tasked to what? To attack hell para ano? Para i-rescue ang mga nasa loob. You see that? That's why. But to attack hell, kapatid, kinakailangan po ang faith. You've got to believe that. Remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. You see, you cannot attack and defeat the gates of hell, kapatid, if you don't have faith. See? Na para magkaroon ka at lumaki ang iyong panampalataya, it depends on how you receive the word of God. Let me ask you a question. Kapag ka pinag-usapan po natin yung amount ng salita ng Diyos na nasa inyo ngayon, gaano na po kaya kalaki? You're silent right now. Gaano na kalaki? You see? Na kung gaano po kalaki, gaano kayo kasaya, kasaya sa pagtanggap ng salita ng Diyos, kapatid, yun ang magdidetermine ng inyong pananampalataya. Now, here's the problem. Nakikinig tayo, pupunta tayo rito ng Sunday morning, nakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. Bang! Pero pagdating sa opisina, ang ina-apply natin yung alam natin sa labas at hindi yung salita ng Diyos. Let me tell you, ano ang ina-apply mo pagka may problema ka? Ano ang ina-apply mo sa buhay mo bilang isang Kristiyano pagka medyo nakakaramdam ka ng ikaw ay na-offend? Somebody's listening to me? Yeah, talk to me, talk to me. Yeah. That's, 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 that's a problem. Gum, gumag, pumupunta tayo sa another source. Which is, this is exactly what the devil wants us to do. So that is not attacking, brethren, the gates of hell. You are helping and putting somebody inside the gates of hell. And you are just letting them and allowing them to stay inside the gates of hell. Somebody must talk to me. But we are to attack, kapatid. We are to attack. The 
the Bible or, or, or Jude said, contend for the faith. Contend. You fight against. Fight. You've got to fight for your faith. Alin yung pananampalataya mo? Alright. Kung nandito po, kapatid. Alright. Gender identity. Biktima ng jablo. Biktima ng other source na tinatawag ng mundo. Alright? Na hindi naman ho masama. Wala tayong magagawa. Katulad na lamang po ng pinahayag ng congressman na transgender na yon. Ano sabi niya? Ano magagawa namin? This is not our choice. This is not our choice. Hindi itong pinili namin. Kung pwede nga lang eh. Kung may choice nga lang ah. Hindi namin pipiliin ito. Grabe kaya. Yung pala. Narinig niyo yan? It's in the YouTube. It's in the YouTube. Grabe kaya. Nahihirapan din siya. Naririnig niyo po ako? Nahihirapan din yung transgender. Hindi. Eh, parang, parang, Parang ngayon si Pia Worsbach na taga-suporta taga ng mga ganito. Ha? Kala ko nga, nandito siya ngayong umage. But, but listen to me now, kapatid, you should understand na yung pagpili ng tao nandiyan, iniwanan sa atin ng Panginoon. But you listen to me now, kung nandito dito sa loob ng gates of hell, ang inyong anak, what will you do? You have to fight. You have to get them. Get them. Get them. You have the desire. You will strive to get them. But the only way to get them out from the gates of hell is to have faith in God. To contend for the faith. Hindi ka pupunta rito para magpag-usap sa Jablo at sasabihin mo, O Panginoong Jablo, pakirilis na po ng anak ko. Hindi mo gagawin yan. Hindi mo gagawin yan. Kundi pupunta ka rito at sasabihin mo, No, it's not. It's not right for you to be to walk like a man, talk like or talk like a woman, act like a woman because you are a man. That's how we do it. Why? Bakit sa papa sa pamagitan ng ano? Preaching ng salita ng Dios. Why? Because it depends on what you have received. Kapatid, eto ngayon ang dadalhin mo diyan. Kaya makikita niyo po pag pumupunta kayo rito, lagi ko kayong pinapa-pay attention. Please, please. Pay attention, bakit? Yun ang gagamitin nyo to keep your children from the gates of hell. To keep them out from the gates of hell. Kapatid, listen to me now. Bakit meron po tayo ngayon, mga kapatid, mga kamag-anak, mga anak, mga magulang, mga kapatid, na natili na lamang po doon. Wala na pong nagtsaga wala nang nag-try na i-pull out sila po doon. Bakit? Look at this. Nandu doon po ngayon yung inyong anak. Nandu doon po yung inyong kamag-anak. Nandu doon po yung mahal nyo sa buhay. You know what we're doing? We're waiting for them to come. No. They maybe wants to come but they cannot come. Remember that. Remember what? Understand. Unawain na lamang po nating mabuti kung ano ang purpose ng gate. To keep people in. Are you with me? Para manatili sila sa loob, yan po ang naglagay sila ng gate. And do you understand na pag naglagay ka ng gate, nang, nag, yun, ang, yun ho ang nagsasabi na ang nasa loob ay pag-aari noong may-ari ng gate. Somebody talk, somebody talk to me. Kaya po, nandi dito sila, kaya may gate, at kung ako'y nasa loob ng gate, nagpapatotoo na ako ay pag-aari ng may-ari ng gate. Alright? And then the Bible says, Jude said, content for the faith. You've got the word of God. Tinanggap mo na yung salita ng Diyos. Anong dapat mong gawin? Attack the gates. Attack the gates. Because the gate will not attack you. Hindi mo pwede sasabihin, oh, salamat sa Panginoon. Na, 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 sa, salamat sa Panginoon. Bumalik ang aking anak. Salamat sa Panginoon. Pinak no, 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 sir. No, sir. That's why, eto po, lagi kong sinasabi mo po, Ted. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up the way I was taught. Because the way I was taught, I was taught sa pamagitan po ng salita ng Diyos, 
and I cannot give up my faith in the word of God. In, in God, sapagkat ang salita ng Diyos ang nagdala sa akin sa Diyos at siyang nagbigay sa akin ng tama po mo. Remember this mga patid, I hope, I hope you're still with me. I'll, I'll, my, my faith right now, I'll take it to the grave, brethren. We need, we need men and women in this auditorium this morning that would say, yes, my faith, I'm not going to give it up. I'll take it to my grave. Now listen, if you will not fight for what you believe, no one will know what you believe. Pag hindi mo ipaglalaban yan, walang makakaalam kung anong pinaninindigan mo. Now, you must remember that it is what you believe that changed your life. It is what you believe that brought you back to your family. It is what you believe that brought joy into your family. It is what you believe that brought a new song into your heart and sweet, say, sweet smell to your home. It is what you believe that honor and respect, that, you, that, that brought honor and respect to your, to your family. And as something, kapat, somebody must testify in this auditorium this, uh, this, this morning. And it's the same belief that will give your children a good future. Take it with you into the grave. Be faithful unto death. Why? Because it is the same belief, kapatid, na mga kapagtanggal dito sa kanya, na mailalabas mo lamang siya dito, you cannot put any or keep anybody out from hell, from the gates of hell, if you only have little faith. Because the reason is, hindi mo ipaglalaban ang isang maliit. Wala hong kristyanong nakipaglaban sa maliit na pananampalataya. Tandaan niyo po ito, umuwi kayo na nagri-ring yan sa inyong mga isipan. Hanggat hindi lumalaki ang aking pananampalataya sa Diyos, wala akong pananampalatayang ipaglalaban. Ang nakakalungkot po nito, mga patid, dadalhin po tayo ng jablo sa isang paniwala na tama naman yung source niya, tama din yung akin, and let's find the common ground. At pag nandito na tayo sa common ground, baliwala na yung ating pananampalataya. Bakit, pa tayo, bakit po tayo dumating doon mga kapatid? Because ang ating pananampalataya ay ganito lamang. Again, tandaan niyo po ito mga kapatid. Sa lahat ng mga Christian, tapos na po ako. Everybody, look at this way. Everybody. You will never fight for your faith if your faith is just little faith. Just like that. That's why you don't mind your faith. You don't mind serving the Lord. You don't mind. Thank you, thank you. May go back. You don't mind reading your Bible, sacrificing something for the Lord. You don't mind it. Bucket. Kasi hindi ka maaapektuhan, hindi ka hindi ka kayang hindi ka man lang mayayanig ng iyong pananampalataya sapagkat napakaliit ng iyong pananampalataya. Pero ngayong umaga mga kapatid. Salamat sa Panginoon. Hindi ka natulog sa umagang ito. Sapagkat wala kang matatanggap kung kung iyong matutulog. At kung meron kang tinanggap ngayon, paniwalaan mo, you live it. Get it, receive it, and live it. And if you live it, sabi ng Biblia, wow, great faith. Great faith, sabi ng Panginoon. I've never seen, sabi niya, ng pananampalataya, even in Israel, just like this faith. Great is thy faith. Kapatid, what are you going to do with your faith this morning? Will you contend for your faith? Will you contend for your faith? Or are you contented with your faith, little faith right now? It takes great faith to move mountain. Again, pag nagkaroon tayo ng problema, naalala niyo po ba si, si, si Paul nung siya ay pinadala ng Panginoon ng mga tinik sa buhay niya? Anong ginawa niya? He besought the Lord. 
Kinausap niya ang Panginoon. Nag, nakiusap sa Panginoon, Panginoon, tanggalin niyo po ang mga tinik na ito. Ano sagot sa kanya ng Panginoon? Paul, sufficient na yung aking biyaya sa iyo. You don't need to ask me. You already had it. You already received it. You know what's funny in our Christian life, brethren? Nakakapagtaka, nakaka, nakakatawa is this. Hingi pa tayo na hingi sa Panginoon, pero nasa atin na pala. Ang problema lamang natin, mga kapatid, gusto natin nakikita natin ang Panginoon sa tabi natin bago tayo bumira. Maraming beses sa buhay natin, mga kapatid, faith alone can make it. Faith alone can make it. What the Bible says about it? All things are possible to them that what? Believe that has faith. All things are possible to them that believe. That's faith right there. With God, nothing is impossible. But God gave it. He gave the possibility sa atin mga kapatid. The only problem is we do not. We ignore it. At binabaliwan natin. We're passive about it. Nandito na po sa atin ngayon. Nasa atin na yan. Tinanggap na natin. Eh gusto natin sa tuwing may problema tayo. Gusto nating tawagin na Diyos. Diyos, alin, alin. Para tayong, sige, pag tinira, nasaktan ako, sumbong kita sa nanay ko. Kapatid, yung tinanggap nyo sa tuwing pupunta kayo rito, ilagay nyo na yan sa isip nyo, ilagay nyo na sa puso nyo, kasi yan ang magpapalaki ng inyong pananampalataya sa Panginoon at yan ang mag-uuga ng bundok na dapat nyo yanigin, mga kapatid. The only way, the only thing that you need is to fight for what you believe. Let the people know what you believe. Kung ako man ho, at ang aking pananampalataya, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and also Daniel, kung hindi man dumating ang Panginoon sa panawagan na ako'y iligtas dito, sa apoy na ito, at dito sa leon na ito, alright, I don't care. Basta one thing na kinakailangang malaman ng aking kaaway, ako si Daniel, na may pinapaniwalaan akong Diyos, at iisang Diyos, at kailanman hindi na ako maniniwala sa iba pang Diyos, ano man ang mangyari sa buhay ko. That is fighting for your faith. Let them know. Kung ako man ay may terminal na sakit at nanalangin ako sa Diyos, nakiusap ako sa Panginoon, Panginoon, pagalingin niyo po ako at namatay pa rin ako sa aking terminal disease. So be it! But I want the whole world to know that I believe in one God, one Bible, one church. I only have one faith. And I will bring them to my grave. Brethren, I don't know about you. Pero katulad sinabi ko po sa inyo, sasama ka ba sa listahan ng mga kristyanong hindi man lamang nakipaglaban sa kanyang pananampalataya? Gustong umaten ng simbahan na walang, walang kapagod-pagod. Gustong magbasa ng Biblia na parang hindi man lamang naapektuhan ang mata. Yeah. Pero pag nanonood ng mga programa sa cellphone niya, nagbabasa ng Facebook, halos buong maghapon na sa Facebook. What a shame. I said, you've got to contend for your faith. Believe it. Take it this morning. Go home with it. And I promise you, there we will, you will enjoy your Christian life. I hope I'm clear this morning. Shall we all stand, please? Father, thank you for your words. Bless your people, O oh God. As they come, as they pray, as they come to your throne, O oh God, this morning, you bless niyo po sila, Panginoon. Bless their minds, their hearts, O oh God. Magkaroon po sila ng desire, Panginoon, that they will fight for their faith. Whatever we are living in right now, anumang problema, anumang, anumang buhay na, 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 na naranasan po namin ngayon, Panginoon. But we must understand that we still believe in you. Sa inyo pa rin po kami naniniwala. Sa inyo pa rin po kami iniyayakap po namin na paniniwala po sa inyo. So, oh God, please speak to your people this morning. Your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed. God is speaking to your hearts with that message. Then let's step out of our seats and come forward, kneel down, talk to God.
Make business with God. Kausapin po natin ang Panginoon. Kausapin natin ang Panginoon. Kailang Diyos, marami po salamat sa ginawa niyo po sa aming kalagitnaan. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa inyong salita. Pagpalain niyo po ang mga narinig ng inyong anak. Patuloy kayong gumawa po sa aming kalagitnaan. Patuloy kayong manguna po sa aming pananampalataya, O Diyos. Kayo po lagi ang object. Kayo po lagi ang sentro ng aming pong pananampalataya, Panginoon. Thank you for giving us your word because we, when we receive your word, O God, that's where we, 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 we uh, receive also our faith. For without your word, we don't have faith, O oh God, because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by your word, O oh God. Thank you for your people. Bless the hearts of your people. And now I beg you to please save the unsaved and baptize the converts. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, thank you. Back to your seats, please. And para po sa mga bisita po namin, ayaw po namin kayong umalis na wala po kaming binabahagi po.